All right, what's up, guys? It's been a while since I've given you an update on the sea wind. A lot of things got in the way. Ended up buying a, uh, a whale watching business in Harvey Bay. That soaked up a lot of time. Our second season has finished about a month ago now, so it sort of freed up my time. And we're back into the sea wind. Last time you saw it, it was still up on the trailer and the beams were still all in it. But uh, yeah, we had to, we just had to bust it apart. It's a lot easier having gravity working with us, working down on the hull. But uh, yeah, I tried to take a few shortcuts and it really bit me in the butt big time. I'll see if I can find a patch on this hull. That'll show you what was going on. Here we go. See these little cracks through here? It's all through the boat. And even, uh, I, there's like little pinholes in the, uh, in the glass there. That to me looks like a bit of a uh, manufacturing fault. Like they sprayed the uh, gel coat in the first layer of fiberglass that went down. Didn't really uh, get compressed too, too well. But uh, here's some more cracks here. So we did sand it clean. And we did put $400 worth of anti-foul on both hulls. I also uh, sealed it with a Vingard paint and those cracks came straight through the, the uh came straight through the paint so if we put it in the water that's a track straight for uh water to get through to the glass and of course that's how osmosis starts so yeah we've had to take all the gel coat off and now i will be resheathing from here all the way around we'll have an overlap over the keel section so it's a little bit more solid and uh yeah we've got a fair bit of work to do the other hole's still over there half sanded up but um yeah a lot of work i'm just gonna uh, probably put like a 400 gram csm over the top of that and then uh bog it and fair it and then seal it up using that vingard again and then uh i'm not going to gel coat it again i'm just going to um two pack it and then anti-foul over the top of that so yes a lot of work that's what's been happening progress has been pretty slow up until this point now we uh we've just been stuffing around with uh, like 40 grit sandpaper on small orbital sanders and it just wasn't cutting it like it took forever to do anything really and uh, when I decided to take this gel coat off it just uh, prompted me to buy a bit uh, better gear so instead of the this is what we were using we had the little orbital it's tiny 40 grit sandpaper we're changing pads like every probably every 10 minutes or so but uh, as soon as I decided to remove this gel coat, we've gone down to 16 grit. Like it's, uh, feels like a couple of rocks stuck on some paper, that's for sure. And on a disc sander too. So uh, that really, it did better than cut the time in half. It just rips it off. You gotta, just gotta watch out that you keep your, uh, keep your sander flat as you're doing it. But, uh, like even if we do gouge the hull a bit it's going to uh all be bogged up and and fared flat again anyway so not too worried but uh yeah that's just just a bit of what's been going on and uh i think i'll just be using these just for finishing work and uh smaller detail stuff now but uh that's my weapon of choice that's for sure But uh, we're slowly getting into it. This uh, hull has some water in it. It was coming out when we had the hull up the other way. It was coming out the front here. So pretty sure that's that damage that's caused it. Water's got in there. 
there's a bit of a uh, sealed compartment here and that's where it's coming out I drilled a little bit bigger hole to let it drain but we're uh, we've got some boys coming around the Sabo we're gonna lift it underneath the uh, underneath the shed there and should start glassing this week so I'll try and get some video of that and yeah it's pretty much where we're at Sorry it's taken so long, and uh, sorry about the missed parts in between. It's uh, got a bit time poor there, and instead of grabbing the uh, the camera, I grabbed a sander and started hooking in. So I'll uh, now that I have some more time, I'll try and keep the camera handy, and we'll see how we go from there.